Assalamu alaikum students. Today our topic is about the law of conservation of mass. So, first of all we have to discuss that uh, what is the chemical reaction? What is mean by chemical reaction? And uh, how chemicals will be combined? So, uh, we, if we see all around us that everything around us is a matter. It means that anything which have a mass and occupies some space, that thing is known as matter. So, uh, all things are matter around us. When these matters are combined with each other, new matters, new substance, new chemicals will be formed. It's like uh, when we combine oxygen and hydrogen and the formation of water will be occur. Then, before reaction, hydrogen and oxygen mass will be the sum of hydrogen and oxygen mass will be equal to the total mass of the water which is formed by the combination of these two elements so uh, in this law uh, there are first, first law is law of conservation of mass this law was given by the french chemist Lavoisier in 1785 and uh, according to this law the mass is neither be created neither created it means that the mass is not created or not destroyed it means that uh, the creation and the destruction of mass never be occurred during a chemical reaction during a chemical reaction mass is neither be created nor be destroyed in other words we can say in any chemical reaction the initial weight of the substance of the reactant substance so uh, in this uh, example when we study that the oxygen uh, oxygen and hydrogen are two reacting substances and the mass of these two substances will be also equal to the mass of water, which is the final weight, which is the final weight, uh, which means what is the final product of uh, by the combination of hydrogen and oxygen. So the final weight of the product and the initial weight of the reactant will be always equal during a chemical reaction. This is the law of conservation of mass. I hope that. Uh, Law of conservation of mass is cleared. So, thanks for this video. Assalamu alaikum.